What's up guys, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another tutorial. Today is going to be a Photoshop tutorial and I want to show you guys how to make a Polaroid um, photo collage using Photoshop. So um, I already have an image out that I'm going to use and um, let's go ahead and just get started. So let's go to the rectangle tool and uh, you know the size is kind of optional, it's up to you. But uh, let's make it something like that. Now what I'm going to do is uh, make another one, but this one's going to be smaller and about like that, and I'm going to make it black. And there we go, something like that. Now the reason I'm doing this is so we can do a clipping mask. Um, let me center this. Doesn't look center. There we go. Anyway. We're going to do a clipping mask, and the reason why I want to do that is if we're working with, um, if we're planning on using um, several photos and doing a lot of uh, different uh, Polaroids, then it's going to be a pain in the butt to come in here and, you know, resize this and then trim it to fit. It's just more hassle than it's worth. The um, simple thing to do is um, just come in here and do what I'm doing. Um, anyway, so take this, we're going to place it over here, and um, now what we're going to do is in between these two layers, our black background and the uh, main photo, I'm just going to hold down Alt and then drag your mouse in between here. This icon will come up, go ahead and click on it, and um, as you can see, where the um, black background is, is now replaced by the photo. So this is a clipping mask. And um, it's by far the simplest way to do this effect, um, rather than have to come in here and trim it and try and get it to fit, and then you know duplicate everything and put a new photo in. It's just much simpler to do it like this. And then what we can do is come in here and um, let's put a drop shadow. Um, you know you can use your own custom settings. Just come in here and play with it a little bit. Get something you like. And I think that's good. And then if you want to do um more, then just go ahead, hit control, uh, select all the um layers, hit control G. That'll group them. You can um rename the group to whatever. And then I'm just gonna duplicate the group uh excuse me, duplicate the group, drag it out over here. Just erase this image and then find a new image and put it in there. All right, guys. Well, I think this will be it. Now you have a, a pretty good idea of how to do this effect. And uh, I hope you guys have fun with it. I'm out of here. Peace.